Coogan Cassius IFL TV here in Glasgow uh, for the announcement of the show on the 27th of June in Brayhead. The return of Ricky Burns, Essex boy now. Essex boy. Forget about Scotland. <laughs> You're one of us now. You belong to like our gang, me and her, and Essex. Uh, well, I've only been down there for a week, so I can't really say that. Oh, a week from now, but I'm actually going back down tomorrow and that'll be me basically down there for more or less the couple of days before the fight. Have you picked up any Essex lingo? Not at all. Not at all? Not at all, no. Do they understand you in Essex, like when you're out and about? Uh, we, we, I was in, we just got back from uh, Spain with like, Tony, Kevin and, and John Ryder. Yeah. Um, there's some, there's, they say they can understand me, there's some words in that. Um, I can understand Tony and John fine, but Kevin, um, sometimes when he's talking... He's proper quick, I, cockney, isn't I, he? He's like fast talking, like, I'm really cockney. Sometimes he'll say something and you're like, I just did not hear one word you said there. <laughs> 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 we'll have to teach you some cockney terms. Right? We'll have to teach you some cockney terms. You're back. Um, talk to me about your opponent you're facing on the 27th. I don't know, I don't really know much about him at all. Yeah. Um, I know he's the number nine in WBC, I know that, that was the route they wanted to go down and get me somebody in the top ten. Um, he's undefeated, he's a southpaw, um, but as far as I know, that, that, that's all it is. I know Tony's the look, Tony's MCM, he's the look at him, so um, no doubt when I go down, um, he'll make me obviously watch him for a while, so we'll, we'll just, whatever happens on the night, it's going to happen, I'll just go out there and go on with it. See that one? Aye. Um, a fight's a fight, isn't it? Indeed. But, like I said, you know, we spoke a couple of times after um, the defeat to Terence, and you, know, you, you said yourself that you jumped straight back into a world title fight, but you know, when you sit, sit down and assess it, it's kind of the fight you kind of need is this sort of fight, isn't it? To get yourself back on track into contention for fighting for another world title. My attitude towards uh, boxing, it's not changed at all now. Do you know, if, if, see, if I was offered the rematch <laughs> with, with Crawford straight away, I would have took it. I said after the fight, um, I would have went to America if need be to, him to fight him again. Um, but I was reading this morning, he's fighting Gamboa, it's going to be a cracking fight. Um, but again, as Eddie said, um, this is a, a, a new start. Um, we're obviously going down the WBC route. Um, it'd be a cracking belt to get. So as long as I come through here, um, we're going to be chatting one door. Mm. Yeah, we, you know, I learned about that fight the other day, uh, Terence Crawford in, in his first defence will fight Gabbar, which is a cracking it's not fight. A, not an easy fight. It's for not him. an easy fight, especially where it's not a mandatory. So credit to Crawford for for, for, for taking that against Gabbar. How do you see that fight going, Rick? Um, I think Crawford. I think it'll be too it'll be too slick. I think it'll be too but too big as well. Um, I can see him, I can see him coming through that. Mm. Um, how how has the transition gone from to, to, to Tony Sim basically from Billy Nelson? How's that how's that been going for you? No, to be honest, it, um, it, it's just what I needed. Um, I couldn't be happier. So it's made me a lot more happier um, with the boxing side of things. Um, obviously, going away down there, it was a hard decision to make. Um, but it, it, for my career, I, I had to do it. I didn't want to look back and say, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. Um, when, I'm, when I'm down there, um, the same when we were away in, um, we were in Spain there for the last two weeks, you're concentrating just on the boxing side of it. You're leaving all your distractions behind. Um, you're just focusing on the fight and obviously focusing on the job that you've got to do. Um, and you know, I'm, I got on well with Tony and I got on well with all the, the, all the other fighters in the gym as well. The place is buzzing now. Um, everybody's obviously got big, big fights coming up over in the, the sparring and that's been um, really good as well. So um, I, I'm enjoying it. Do you feel like you have settled in or do you, feel, do you still feel like you need a few more weeks to really get accustomed to everything with the move? I, no, do you know, I, 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 me personally I feel as if I've just I've, I've fitted in well. Um, obviously, Tony's already said that he doesn't want to change my, my style too much. He, would, he just wants to start adding wee things um, and obviously improving stuff that, I, that I'm good at. Um, but I've only really been training him now for uh, three weeks, just over three weeks. Um, but as the fight gets closer, we'll be probably be working on a lot more stuff and putting into practice um, the stuff that he's been getting me doing. And hopefully I'll be taking that into the fight. But um, especially after that, the, after the last fight, it's just made me more determined. I've got a point to prove to myself now. Mm. Um, Eddie Hearn, the press conference opened it up. We're saying something quite interesting that 
you know, a drunk Scotsman had said to him after <laughs> the fight about, oh, you know, after you defeat that, oh, that's, you know, I bet you're going to sort of fuck Scottish boxing off. But, you know, with this show he's put on, you know, you still headlining it, Simmons Camacho, Willie Lim and um, Curtis Woodhouse, it doesn't look like it, they're, they're going anywhere, Matchroom and Eddie and Sky. Uh, no, do you know, it's, a, it's a, going to be a crack, a crack night of boxing. Um, every fight on it, it's all, it's all a good fight. Um, all the, the, the boxers up here, um, we just heard at the press conference there, they're all really up for it. Um, I think the fights everybody's looking forward to, obviously the Steven Simmons and Camacho fight. Um, that's, the, that's the one that everybody seems to be talking about. But again, I'm sure the fans are going to come out and show their support like they always do. Um, that's the first thing that everybody always comment on up here. Um, the atmospheres, the, the big fight, so hopefully going to be the same again. Mm. Interesting to see the reception that Woody Camacho receives on the night. Will be interesting to watch. Um, all right, well, listen, Ricky, thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV. Do you still work in the sports shop? No, I drove because I knew that I was going to be moving. Um, I had to hand was quick. I had to hand my notes in. Really? I had to even put it in writing, which I thought quite funny. <laughs> when did you do this? Eh, uh, must have been about a month ago. Really? A month ago, eh? Do you still get the discount? Eh? Do you still get a discount? I've not been back up um, to... I've not, never, I've not they should build a statue of you in that shop. I've not been back in to, fight, to buy in to find out if they'll still give me it, but fingers crossed... They, they should do. should get them to seriously. You know, like, you know when, like... Footballers outside the ground sometimes they erect statues. I don't know about they should that. put one in the shop with you. <laughs> I don't know about that. Give me their number. I'm going to suggest to them to do it. It doesn't have to be out of chrome. It can be out of like wood or something. Or I think they've still got a poster up. I think oh. they've still got so many posters up for the yeah. fight. That'll, oh, that'll, that, that'll, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. All right, Ricky Burns. Thanks for talking to Eiffel TV, and listen, we look forward to your return. Uh, on the 27th of June, yep. and uh, so it's a return. He didn't fight that long ago, but it feels like it's a return because you're sort of going to on a rebuilding process. But That's it. Um, yeah, we look forward to that. I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon, possibly in Essex as you're up the road now. All right, therefore, All see, right? see you down there next week. Definitely. Tim Cassius, Ricky Burns, IFL TV. Thank you very much.